Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a blessed, wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. It's me, Crystalla for Jesus here, back again, watching another Rapture Dream. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching these with me. Um, the Lord has had me to do this, so it's for a reason. And so I really hope that this is... Um, I'm just doing everything that is exactly what he wanted me to be doing. So we're watching a rapture dream, you guys. Again, Amy Frust is the channel name. Find it in the description box. Let's get into this video and see what kind of dream she had. I had a dream on January 6th and it was a rapture dream. I say it was a rapture dream because I was being lifted up in the sky and as I was going up, I looked around and I realized that each person that was going up was received um, a cross, a very transparent cross with a light on the inside. It's a cross. And while I was going up, I was elated. I was excited. I'm happy. Um, ho however, I was a little... I was a little bit of everything because I'm wondering why am I going up but then I realized that it's the rapture people are going up too it's not just me and that was my confirmation because I started looking around and on my way up while I'm up in the clouds I am looking down and there was um, an individual that was on the ground with her whole entire family someone that has wronged me and someone that has has um, slandered my name twisted my words you know said lies about me a lot of things so for me i didn't like this person for a while however i felt like i still love this person so while i was going up i said i love you with a smile on my face however god knows the heart he knows the heart better than you know the heart he knows every bits and pieces of it and i landed so when I landed, I'm like wondering why am I landed? And there were other people that were also landing. So I thought it was the norm. However, when I completed the land, this person was a little chuckly about the fact that I came down as well. But the point of the matter is when I was going up and I said, I love you, the Lord said, you cannot go to heaven with unforgiveness in your heart oh man yeah that is very very powerful you guys like we have to make sure that we are oh unforgiveness is such a big one you guys i know that there are a lot of things that are hard to forgive and let me tell you i haven't been through a lot of things that were hard to forgive so i can't really speak on that but the Bible says that unless you forgive others, I will not forgive you. And Jesus says that, I believe, in Matthew as well. There's so much packed into Matthew, but the scripture verse that says, Jesus says, if you do not forgive others, I will not forgive you your trespasses. So we have to, like, don't expect to go in the rapture if you're holding hate in your heart, if you're holding unforgiveness towards other people because there's a, a scripture verse that also says that if you hate your brother, then how, how, how does that person have the spirit of God dwelling in them? You know, so you have to make sure you're checking yourself and checking your heart. And my heart started racing physically while I was in the dream. And I jumped up out of the dream, heart racing, palpitating out of my chest, because now I realized that I have missed the rapture. And now I'm going to be joining this person that I was so happy to see on the ground while I'm going up. So both of us are now in the same shoes. Oh no. Okay. She said that she was happy to see her on the ground. That's not good either because even God said that when I am punishing somebody, you are not to be laughing about it. Otherwise, God's not happy about it. Like God wants to avenge you. He wants to punish people that should be punished. 
but he doesn't want you gloating about it and like happy that God is, you know, um, like, you know, correcting that person or like giving, you know, they're reaping what they're sowing. Like, don't be, you should not be happy that that person is going through turmoil just because you don't like them and because you had a quarrel. So basically what I'm trying to say is we can't go to heaven on forgiveness. Not my words, but now I know because I've been convicted and the Holy Spirit has put it in my heart to know that you can't go to heaven with unforgiveness. So if there's any unforgiveness in your heart, the Lord you said, you cannot go to heaven with unforgiveness in your heart. And my heart started racing physically while I was in the dream. And I jumped up out of the dream, heart racing, palpitating out of my chest because now I realize that I have missed the rapture. And now I'm going to be joining this person that I was so happy to see on the ground while I'm going up. Mm. So both of us are now in the same shoes. So basically what I'm trying to say is we can't go to heaven with unforgiveness. Not my words, but now I know because I've been convicted and the Holy Spirit has put it in my heart to know that you can't go to heaven with unforgiveness. So if there's any unforgiveness in your heart, you won't know because I thought I gave this to God a while ago because I was convicted about three to four months ago about the same thing. However, I guess for the other people that were in the conviction, when I received the conviction, I have let it go. But for this person, it's so bad that I just couldn't let it go. But you know, that day did not end without me just letting it go. And I wow. say I let it go because I don't feel that heaviness anymore, even when I say this person's name. I just don't want to, you know, reveal that information to you people because it's none of your business. <laughs> but I want to say that I don't feel that heaviness anymore when I say the person's name. I don't find pleasure in talking bad about the person anymore because I realize that God has this and he's going to take care of this. And he will also take care of this person if this person doesn't repent. So what I'm saying, people, please mm -hmm. repent, 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 repent. God will forgive you. So you have to forgive yourself and forgive others. Yeah. And I'm telling you that because. Think about all the other people. Like, think about all the sins that you are doing towards God and God is constantly having to forgive you for, you know, but then you don't want to give up something that. <clears throat> There is a very perfect scripture for this. And I wish I had my other Bible because that's where I have like my King James version has all my highlights that I have been doing. But um, it is, it's, it's in where there's, he says the kingdom of God is like, um, He has, he hired, he has his servant, right? Who owes him stuff. And he comes to him and he's like, look, I don't have the money to pay you for this debt. And so the, the king says, okay, the master, he says, okay, I'm going to, he's like, please, please just, just don't, you know, uh, just don't throw me in the, in jail. Right. So he's like, all right, since you pleaded with, plead and cried about this, I'm going to forgive you of all your debt. You don't have to pay me and I'm going to let you go. So he's like, oh, thank you so much. And then that guy turns around and he starts um, going to people that owe him money and he starts um, not forgiving them. He's like, oh, you did this and this and this and you owe me this and you're not even paying me. So I'm going to. I'm going to um, take all your family, you know, I'm going to take your stuff and I'm going to throw you into jail. Right. And so the servants are seeing this guy turn around who was just forgiven, start being mean 
to other people and not forgiving them. And they go and tell the master what he's doing, you know, and that master comes and talks to him and he's like, you evil and wicked servant. I forgave you of these things. And you, um, you turn around and you go and be evil and mean and unforgiving towards everybody else. Like I, I just forgave you. I just forgave you for all that stuff that you owed me. But then you can't go turn around and go and forgive those people, you know, that have harmed you or wronged you or owe you stuff. And so what, what he said, what he did with that servant, he's like, I, I cast that servant out and threw him into outer darkness where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You don't want that to happen to you. And there's plenty of things, many more things that Jesus has to forgive you of, but then you don't want to turn around and forgive other people. And Jesus even talks about it in the word. And I just gave you that, that one story that he talked about. So I had to forgive others and I am forgiving myself for holding that in my heart because now I know that God has forgiven me because I repented, I asked for forgiveness and I gave it to him and he's cleansed my heart, he's cleansed my soul and I'm feeling a lot better. So do the same, bye. Thank you so much for that beautiful dream of warning as well. You know, God is so loving and so merciful that he would like, hey, check yourself, check yourself, make sure that you are in the word, make sure that you are in line with me. And even things that you don't think you're even thinking about anymore that could still be in your heart, you know? Like any, I guess the way you could check yourself is like, let's say, think about any any person that's wronged you. How would you feel? Would you feel like her? If they got left behind in the rapture, you just feel so good about it. Or if something bad happened to them, you just feel so good about it. That is a red flag that you need to, um, you need to get right. And, uh, you need to repent for that. So I love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave down below, uh, forgiving for Jesus, forgive for Jesus, forgive for Jesus in the comments if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.